Good morning, everyone. This is Susanna. I greet all of you in the precious name of Yahushua Hamishak, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please join me in the book of Titus, uh, um, chapter 2. For the grace of God that brings salvation had appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. My brothers and sisters, for those of you who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, I would like you to look at this picture here. Look at this picture here, my brothers and sisters. And for those lukewarm questions look at this picture these are the people that was left behind you don't want to be left behind my brothers and sisters when we go to revelation 21 we see that and i saw thrones 21 4 i saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded, that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. My brothers and sisters, These were the left behind Christians. They will be martyrdom for Jesus Christ and they will reign and live with Jesus Christ for 1,000 years. But you don't have to be martyrdom. All you need to do is to repent and turn away from sin. And the Lord Jesus Christ will take you out of here. You will have to, if you, if you stay behind, you will have to face Antichrist Obama, Hussein Obama, Antichrist. He is the Antichrist. And you will face him. He has no heart because he's Satan's son. You will have to either take his mark or die. For those of you who don't believe in the word of God, your eyes will be open at that time. Seek the Lord now. Now is the time for you to seek the Lord. Now is the time for you to repent. Now is the time for you to seek Jesus Christ. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. He's the only life. He is life itself. Without him, there is no life. Look at this picture here, my brothers and sisters. You do not want to be left behind. To face Antichrist Obama is not going to be easy. And not only would you have to face Antichrist Obama, but all the judgments that are coming on the earth, all the earthquakes and tsunamis, and Satan and his angels, my brothers and sisters, this is real. Jesus told me twice yesterday, I believe it's just yesterday or the day before, that he's coming. He told me two times that he's coming. He said he's at the door. Jesus Christ is at the door, my brothers and sisters. The darkness is very soon. Do not get left behind. Seek the Lord. Repent and turn away from all of your sin. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. And during that time, my brothers and sisters, you would not be hearing the word of God because Amos 8, 11 tells us that a famine of the word of God is going to be on the land and no one would hear the word of God anymore. God is removing the restrainer. The restrainer is not his Holy Spirit. It's the hands of God. When you keep on reading your Bible, you will realize that all the power is in the hands of God, the right hand of God. The hand of God is the restrainer, my brothers and sisters. 
If God remove his Holy Spirit, then the left behind Christians will not be saved. They would not be martyred on for Jesus Christ. We just read Revelation 24 that tells us they will be martyred on for Jesus Christ and they would not worship the beast or his image or they would not receive his mark upon their foreheads or their hands and they will live and reign with Christ for a thousand years. In order to do that, you must have God Holy Spirit in you. So the restrainer is not the Holy Spirit. The restrainer is the right hand of God, very powerful. So my brothers and sisters, please seek the Lord, repent and turn away from all sin. Jesus Christ is on his way. He is coming. Seek him, seek him, seek him. Please seek the Lord Jesus Christ. He love you with an everlasting love. He told me that he loved me. And he told me, he said to me, Susanna, you will know my new name. He said, I am with thee, Susanna, two times. The Lord Jesus Christ told me that he is with me and I will know his new name. Revelation 3.12 tells us that. So please seek the Lord, repent, and turn away from all sin. Jesus loves you and I love you. Have a great day and happy Sabbath day. Bye-bye.